What's going on everybody? Cooper the reseller coming at you from Omaha, Nebraska. And today in this video, I want to show you how to schedule a USPS pickup from the post office. So they will pick up your packages from your house so you don't have to waste time driving to the post office, dropping off the packages, and then driving home. You can just have them pick it up from your house and you're good to go. And the best thing is it is free. So let's get right into it. I'll show you how I do it. I have them pick up every single day. And the first thing you need to do is go to usps.com. From here, you can either register for an account or sign in, and then you can save your address that way. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go to mail and ship, schedule a pickup right here. You might not, I don't think you need to have an account, so you can just go to the, do this way if you want to. Step number one, where should we pick up your packages? This is fairly easy to do. Just fill out the form as I am right here. I'm gonna have to blur out my information, but it auto fills in my first name, name, last name, street address, city, state, zip, phone number, email. And then you go ahead and click this button, check availability. And then it will tell you right here if the service is available for you or not. For me, it is, and it should be for you too, if you get packages from the post office. So the next part is, you need to answer this question. Is there a dog at this address? And that is a yes for me, so I'm gonna do that. That will take you to step number two. Where do you want the packages to be picked up from your location? You have a few different options here. In the mailbox, on the porch, front door, back door, side door, knock on door, ring the doorbell, mailroom, office, reception, other. For me and for probably most people, you'll do on the porch. You could also do in the mailbox if you have a big mailbox. But I just find I like it on the porch the best. I have a ring doorbell so I can see the mailman come up and get him. If someone was trying to steal him, I could see them come up on the ring or something like that. I've never had anybody steal any packages, and I've been doing this for three years, so it's fairly safe, I would say. Um, and then enter additional instructions. I actually do this, and I usually say, um, might have more than one package for pickup. And I do this because I usually always do have more than one package, and you'll see in step number four, I believe, why I put that. When should we schedule your pickup? This one's really important. You want to do pickup during regular mail delivery if you want them to do it for free. Otherwise, if you pick a specific time, you're going to be paying $24 per pickup, and that is a lot of moolah for each day. So let's do it for free, and then on here you can come and do for tomorrow. It's the first day of September, so I could do this but I have been scheduling it whole months at a time, which let's see if there's a way to do that on here. It doesn't look like there is. There is a different way to do a full month at a time. I'll try to show you guys that, but let's say we're just doing it one day at a time. So I'll do it for tomorrow. And I used to do it this way. I used to package up all my packages at the end of the night. And then I would go on here and pick tomorrow. I put all my packages in here. So let's say I had some two first class packages and then I had five priority mail and then they ask you for the estimated weight. We'll say these weigh about two pounds each. This weighs one pound each. So 10 to 12 pounds. Click this box and schedule the pickup. But the way I've been doing it recently is I just put one first class package in here. I leave everything else at zero and then I put like five pounds, and then I usually have more than one package, but that's why I put this in here just so they know. The, the post office might not like me doing this, but I'm good friends with my mailman and he hasn't said anything about it, so I think it's okay. And it just saves me time so I don't have to count up all the packages and I don't have to estimate the weight every single time. I just do one first class and then put five pounds roughly, schedule a pickup, and there we go. And then you should be good to go from there. They'll come the next day. Uh, try to get a good time estimate of when your mailman comes. Mine comes usually between 9 and 11.30 in the morning. 
So I always try to make sure to have my packages out before nine just to make sure they get them. And then if you want, I want to see here if I can figure out how I uh, schedule it in bulk. Okay. So if you sign in and create an account, you can do more than one day at a time. And usually for me, I try to do it one month at a time. Just be careful if you're doing it this way and you don't make sales consistently every day and your mailman comes and you don't have anything to pick up, they're going to be confused. They're going to be trying to contact you, figuring out where that package is. So I only recommend this if you're definitely selling at least one package every day. If you're not, then it's kind of a pain in the butt for them if you don't have anything for them to pick up because they get printed out stuff and they're expected to pick up from you. So try not to put that burden on them. If you don't have a package every day, I would just do it um, every night when you know you need stuff to go out. And then I do it this way and I do the, I still just do the one and then five or whatever. And then just make sure to have this note in there so they know. And that is how you schedule a pickup with the post office. Let me know if you have any questions regarding this. Uh, smash the like button if this video brought you any value. And subscribe if you want to see more reselling related tips, tricks, thrift hauls, anything like that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.